What's going on guys? So today what we're going to try doing is getting this motor sandblasted. I was able to get all the motor put together, uh, no guts inside of it, and we're going to throw it in the sandblaster. I was able to also get it degreased, so it came out pretty good uh, doing that. Um, maybe get it baked in today, not too sure how much time I'll have, and possibly get a, um, some Cerakote on it. I know it's a little lengthy process, but we'll see if I don't run out of light. Um, so here we go. Okay, so I want to show you the motor before we got the sandblasting. So there it is. Got it all taped up, <clears throat> all the plugs in it. It's ready to get get blasted. So you can see the chain sprocket here. Had to just put some tape, so on and so forth. But she's good to go. Here's what I'm using: just a little Harbor Freight uh, sandblaster. Nothing crazy. Um, got some aluminum oxide in there. Ready to go. Um, so that's what we're going to be doing. So there she is before, and let's uh, see where we're at. All right, I think we're good to go. Let's see how she turned out. Try saving all that media as we can. Looks pretty good. I didn't do, I ended up not doing the uh, clutch cover because I am going to probably get an aftermarket one. Uh, this thing's pretty, has a lot of nicks and stuff in it, so I don't, I don't, I don't think it's real fixable. So. I'm going to get an aftermarket one for that, but yeah, I'm going to blow this off, get it opened up, and just make sure nothing got in it. If it did, what I'm going to do is um, get it cleaned out and get it ready for baking. It's getting kind of late, so we'll see if I'm even able to start baking it tonight. Alright guys, so we're about ready to start coating the uh, lower bottom end of the engine. I was able to get everything apart. Uh, had a little bit of sand and stuff into the engine, so I was able to wash all that out, um, air it out, and then took a little bit of Dawn soap and water and cleaned it all out. And then I was able to also get the unit baked uh, to bake any oil or anything off there to make sure it's clean. I also went ahead and taped up, masked all the surfaces that I want painted off. Uh, I did not record that just to save you the hassle of me doing that. That is a pretty tedious job and I doubt you wanted to watch that. So um, what we're going to do now is get it on a little paint homemade bench here, get that Cerakoted um, and get it baked. What I ended up, the color I ended up going with was a tungsten uh, gray. So I think it'll look really good and we'll go from there. So <laughs> Like we're all done. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get these in the oven now. I got a little toaster oven over here warming up. So um, I'm gonna get these in the oven and bake them at 300 degrees for an hour and that should cure them. All right, here we go. 300 degrees for an hour. Then I'll do the other two. All right, while those bake and cure, I'm gonna get this mess cleaned up and I'll see you after the cure stage. Okay, so it looks like the first part is done, uh, the Cerakote, so let's see how she looks. Oh man, that turned out great. Okay, so what I've actually decided to do is the water pump cover, I decided not to Cerakote that the same color. I'm going to powder coat that black as I have some black uh, Clutch and ignition covers coming so I'd like that to match may break up that uh, Tungsten color a little bit. So let me show you what I got going and what I've done to prep for powder coating this small part So what I did was 
There's the water pump, got it all sandblasted, cleaned up, as well as got some degreaser put on it, so she's clean. Okay, so I'm about to hit this with the powder coating gun. Um, I got it plugged in, all I gotta do is hit this, just send the charge to it, and start shooting. So what I'll do is zoom in, and uh, you can kinda see how she sticks to it and everything. You know, not too sure how this is gonna work. Um, first time using this gun, so we'll see. Now that I got this powder coated, I need to stick it in the oven on 400 for 10 minutes. But it may take a little longer because you have to time it starting when the part gets 400 degrees. So I'll just take temperature readings with my temp gun until then. But I have to be real careful transitioning from here to this little rack I'm going to put it on. Just due to it's powder so it just falls off. It's not sticking on there anyhow. So let's get this in the oven. Get this part gently that on there. I'm not too worried about right here having a small amount just due to the fact that that's where the uh, radiator tube's going to go. Let's put it in here. Nice and easy. Alright, now that she's in there, got it 400 degrees, I'll start taking some temperature readings and then as soon as it hits 400, I will start the timer. Alright, here we go. See how she turned out. Oh, that looks really good. Let's get her hung up. No one touch her, she's still pretty hot, but she looks pretty good. So we'll get her hung up, cooled down, and then I'll put her next to the other parts and we'll do a comparison and uh, we'll get the tape and everything off of her and go from there. I wanted to show you this frame. You might be able to see it behind me. I just got it back from powder coating yesterday. It turned out phenomenal. Check this out real quick. Look how clean it looked. It looks very clean. So she's going to be ready. She's about ready to go. So, all right. So we're going to get started. A uh, little update on some parts real quick. The postal service looks like they lost one of my package from Rocky Mountain, so they, hopefully they should have it in another day or two. Um, I put it in a, uh, a claim with them, so we're going from there. All right, I want to start pulling some of this tape off. Everything's cooled down. Really want to see what she looks like. Pretty excited. So let's see what we got here. Good. An overspray. Yep. An overspray. Wow. Look how good that looks. My goodness. It's going to look real good. So I'll finish getting these peeled off and I got this clutch cover over here, the inner clutch cover, and just kind of mock everything up, get the water pump on there so we can get some color comparison and we'll go from there. Alright guys, got everything finished up, painted, coated, and powder coated. It looks insane. I put the cases together uh, just with a couple bolts to see how they all look. I put the water pump cover on there, the powder coated black one. I actually took everything put it on the frame because I got the frame back from powder coating. It looks insane. Check this out. Look how good that color looks on that frame. It looks absolutely amazing. Look at that. Look at that water pump color comparison. It looks so good. Really excited about that. All right, that's gonna be it for today. Thank you guys for coming. Uh, so the next video should be uh, 
probably going to do the transmission uh, to get the transmission changed out to wide ratio because I did receive all the gears for that. So that'll probably be the next video. So please hit that subscribe button. Uh, please support the channel. I'd really appreciate it. Uh, thank you guys, and we'll see you next time.